Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're over on our test account and we were talking about it yesterday, guys. We are waiting for the patch notes and here they are, 1.108, that is right. Introducing the new Wilder Hero, Tamrus, the Jungle Roamer. So gonna be pretty interesting to see a new Wilder Hero. A lot of players were saying that it is going to be a Graveborn Hero, but unfortunately that is not the case, guys. So we have a brand new Wilder Hero coming. Very, very cool. So of course they're gonna be available within the next couple days. But let's see what else we got in these notes, guys. The Season 4 test of the Hunting Fields will begin on Local 2-6. Uh, so February 6th, we will see the Hunting Fields coming up. Players can will battle Edrax, which I believe is the boss that we've had for quite a while now. Surprised they didn't do a new boss in there. Added the new achievement, Rotoring Crowd. Um, members of the Hunting Team that gain 10 spectators in a single match will be able to claim the achievement and the sticker. Very, very cool, guys. Um, of course, the, the big spectator thing in there, it gives a reason to turn it on. Um, you either have to go through and you have to approve the heroes that are coming in the hunting field, or you can just literally turn it on where anyone can join in here. Very, very cool to see that they're giving a bo bonus or a reward for that. Added a buddies page in spectating that shows the hunting field of all friends and guild members. Really cool adjustment as well. Adjusted the amount of health the final boss Adrex has during rematches. Adjusted loot for unknown threat. There is now a chance of getting awaken rune choice um, from challenging the unknown threat. So very cool, guys. They continue to make some adjustments. I mean, this is the fourth iteration of the hunting fields that we have seen, and that is really, really cool that they continue to make it better. Honestly, there's always a lot of sticking points when it comes to the abyssal expedition, when it comes to the hunting fields, and this really alleviates some of them as we continue to um to move through here increase the personal quest difficulty that needs to be rewarded to claim the hunting squad level rewards optimize uh, recommendations for teams to spectate new heroes of Espria. now this of course is the pvp event really big big pvp event guys um the loot in here is phenomenal when you're going up stages um and it's been a lot easier the last couple iterations of the Heroes of Espria to actually get to that master level. So super excited to see that back. Um, it comes available at 11-40, so you do have to be in Chapter 12. Added the Battle Effect Rampage. We're going to have to check that out, guys. And added the Stars Division and increased rewards for Masters and higher ranking. Very, very cool, guys. Gives you a reason to push. That is really one of the big things. Added a new feature for the Hunter's Notes, the Mind Mayhem. So, of course, this is not the Crimson Snow part of it. This is the other one. So there is going to be a third Hunter's Note now that is going to be coming up. Ventures can play it after completing Chapter 33. So you have to be in Chapter 34. Hunter's Rewards will be available for 28 days after this version. Ventures who complete the Mind Mayhem during the event will receive additional rewards. Um, I'm still hoping Crimson Snow that they're going to uh, nerf it like they talked about it. The Poetic Pop Quiz will be available. Guys, most of you know the Poetic Pop Quiz is one of my Favorite things within AFK Arena. I wish they would add it daily as a mini game or something. Um, it is really cool because you get to know the lore and the backstories of a lot of the heroes within AFK Arena. Um, I, I love the Poetic Pop Quiz. Added the adventure gunning for gold to the Voyage of Wonder. So another Voyage of Wonder is coming. Ancient Seal joins the Wandering Bloon, which we have seen in the past. And another Misty Valley. Now, when you look at the entirety of the events, what we have coming with the new hero, everything else, guys, there's a ton of loot. There is an absolute phenomenal amount of loot that we're getting out of these events that is just stacked. Even now, we got the wish boxes that just came up to get possibly some Stargazer cards, some Time Emblem, some free loot out of there, um, which, which is very cool to see that they're addressing some of the issues that we've seen um, in the past. Added the promotional video titled Belinda Sparkle Hope Sacred Dawn, which will be available 131. Ventures can tap to watch the story of how Belinda became the Spark of Hope after being acknowledged by the Fire Gate Guardian and claim the rewards. I think that is the video that's already up on YouTube, if I'm not mistaken. Um, if you follow the AFK channel on YouTube specifically, I believe that is the Spark of Dawn um, video that is already available to watch. Improvements made to the Thrilling Voyage. The number of challenges from Hunter's Notes and Fantastic Beasts are independently. Now, this was one of the big things, guys. If you're going through the Crimson Snow using your attempts, if you went to the Hunter's Notes, they shared the same attempts. That needed to be changed, absolutely. Um, when playing Fantastic Beasts, Beasts will no longer 
be affected by the level of the adventurer's resonating crystal. Instead, they will be adjusted to 360, reduce the difficulty in some stages of the Crimson Snow. That is what we are waiting for, guys. We are waiting for the difficulty reduction. They have talked about it. It is finally here, guys, where they are adjusting the stages in there. Now, Scrag the Cunning fixed an issue in certain circumstances where Vanguards of Pain was not working. Then, of course, the effect will only take effect on the test servers. Final adjustments are subject to change because if something is really broken, guys, but when I'm thinking and I go through down kind of the, the checklist of what we have going on here, um, one, we knew the Crimson Snow was too difficult, so they adjusted the difficulty in there, making it easier. I'm sure in the past when they've adjusted the difficulty, um, it was actually pretty easy to get through there with, with whatever you had. So as much as players hated this Crimson Snow event, it does yield quite a bit of loot, guys, once this patch goes live, which will be on Tuesday. So we have about, what, five days till it'll be up on Global. Once this goes live, you will have the adjusted difficulties as well as some other things to do within here. Again, the video, definitely watch it, guys. You get free rewards out of there. Misty Valley, do not forego this, guys. Misty Valley is probably one of the best places to get rewards. Not only do you get a lot of resources, but you also get stones. And then you get the final chest, depending on where you are within the campaign, that yields you new heroes, cores, red chests, um, baits, whatever you're looking for, guys. You can pick them out of the Misty Valley. Absolutely love it. Wandering Balloon, Gunning for Gold, again, two of the loot voyages in here. Poetic Pop Quiz always yields a lot of loot on daily and on the quest that they have within there. New Hunter's Note, again, my Mayhem, yields a lot of loot. If you look at some of the Hunter's Notes that we have already completed, they yielded a considerable amount of loot. And then Heroes of Espria, again, gives a significant amount of loot, guys. This is the reason why I've really went to focusing on one or two accounts because of the amount of things we have in AFK Arena, because couple everything that we just seen right there with the hunting fields that are coming. Hunting fields does take a little bit of time and effort, um, especially if you wanna score a little bit higher in the hunting fields. It does take a little bit of time and effort. Make sure you're picking your faction now. Make sure you're getting up with guildies. You're getting up with people on Discord. You're getting up with other players that wanna do this so you can actually build your pre-made team within the hunting fields making it incredibly easy to go through the hunting fields, guys. Then, of course, the big one, we have the new Wilder hero, Tamrus. Um, we're going to be able to actually see him pretty soon. Skills and abilities, Tamrus, the jungle roamer, um, makes me think of warrior, possibly tank. Um, could be ranger. Um, I don't see it being a mage as the jungle roamer. Could be completely wrong, though. Um, I'm hoping it's not another support hero because we've gotten a lot with Solus, with Nevi, with a lot of different heroes in the Wilder faction. Wouldn't be shocked though if they did another um, another support hero within the Wilder faction. Sorry guys, so that'll do our for, for our patch notes 1.108. Let me know in the comments what you guys think and as always, thank you guys for watching.